Women always blame themselves when a diet doesn't work. They think they are the problem, they need more willpower, more consistency, more motivation, more whatever. Listen, if you're a woman over 35, you are not the problem. It's the diets. It's not you. I see this over and over again. Women who are so frustrated because they can't lose weight and they think that it's their fault. They're blaming themselves. Diets set you up for failure because they're teaching you to restrict food. That's all they're teaching you to do. Follow their black and white rules and they're teaching you to restrict food. And then when you stop following their rules, guess what? You put the weight back on and then you feel horrible about yourself. The problem here isn't you. The problem here isn't that you need more motivation, consistency, willpower. You don't need any of those things. You're perfect the way you are. But what you do need is a new way of eating. Eating for your hormones learning a different way of talking to yourself, of judging yourself, of thinking about yourself. So today we're gonna to talk about this, and if you don't know me, my name is Megan Olson, nutrition practitioner. I help women over 35 lose weight and keep it off for good. And before we get started, I have a free weight loss class. It's a one hour class right above this video. Click that link, you'll get the free class. And there's five helpful steps in there for getting you started with your weight loss without dieting. Okay, um, so so many of you think that you are failures, and if you're watching this video, I just want you to comment below. Like, how many of you, if you're watching this video, tell me in the comments, how many of you think it's your fault that you haven't been successful with weight loss yet? How many of you? How many of you think you need more willpower, you need more motivation, it's you that's the problem? Tell me in the comments. Listen, you're not the, pro the problem. The true failure here is the diets teaching you to cut things out, cut carbs, cut beans, cut rice, cut chips, cut crackers, cut pizza. We're cutting, 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 and that's all it's teaching you. And those foods are always going to be around you. So when you're losing weight, you have to practice eating those foods in moderation. Do diets teach you that? No. Do diets teach you how to put your food together in a way that keeps your hormones balanced so you're not going back to the kitchen after you eat? Let me give you an example, and this is one I see a lot. Women will have a veggie burger for, for lunch. That's all they're eating, a veggie burger. And then like 20 minutes later, they're going into the pantry searching for food because you didn't eat enough food. It wasn't enough. You're not eating for your hormones, and diets aren't teaching you that. Are diets teaching you the science of weight loss? No. Nope. Last I checked, they're not. Um, I don't know any diet, in fact, that does, except my program that I work on with ladies. Um, does diets teach you how to talk positively to yourself, how to focus on your mindset, how to get back on the wagon when you have a bad day? I know very few diets, if any, that do that, that really focus on your mindset. Because the truth is, if you're not focusing on what's going on in your head, what's going to happen is you're just not going to follow the plan because you're just not going to feel like it. Right? So we have to be working on what's going on up here, not just on what's on the plate. Right? So, so many of you think it's your fault. So many of you think that you're the cause for, the, for why you haven't been successful with your weight loss. You're not. It's not your fault. I know you want to lose weight, but these diets have taught you that the only thing that you can do to lose weight is to cut out foods. And then what it teaches you is when you can't follow those rules, that you're going to fail and that you're a failure if you can't stick with the plan. Listen, you're not a failure. The only way that you truly fail at weight loss is if you give up and you just go eat a bunch of junk food. You sit around on the couch and do nothing. That's the only way you fail. If you're putting in effort every day and you're going for a 10 minute walk, that's not failure. That's putting in effort. That's putting in small gradual lifestyle change. Most of us want this instantaneous change. It doesn't happen. It's not realistic. If you want permanent lasting weight loss, you want to feel amazing and great in your skin, and you don't want to ever have to deal with diets or figuring food out ever again in your life and feeling like a prisoner to food, then you got to get your head around this fact that this is a lifestyle transformation. So, you know, most of you know you want to lose some weight, right? And think about this. Instead of going for a 10 minute walk, what many of you do is you sit on the couch and you're on this and you're scrolling Facebook, Instagram. Oh, let me see what's here instead of getting outside and going for that 10 minute walk. 
right? Here's another example. You try to incorporate a new vegetable into your lunch this week, but you don't like it, you throw it out, and then you think that you failed and you just give up. That's not failing. What if you, what if you tried that again every single week until you did find a vegetable that you really enjoyed? Every single week, I'm sure you're destined to find a vegetable you like if you didn't give up every single week. I'm sure you would lose weight if you went outside for a 10 minute walk every day for the next six months. You always have a greater chance of success when you put in some effort. See the difference? Right now, some of you are just not putting in any effort because you don't think it's gonna matter, right? Here's another example. Every January, you decide you wanna lose weight and you do one of these all one size fits all diets, paleo, whole 30, low carb, keto, Nutrisystem, Weight Watchers, you do one of these one size fits all diets, or you do a cleanse or a challenge or a sugar or a detox or fasting or something like that, right? You choose to do one of these one size fits all diets and you do it for a few weeks, maybe two weeks, that's usually the maximum, and then it gets really hard and you give up and you just eat whatever you want. That is failure. Not because you couldn't follow through the diet though. It is failure because you chose to repeat the pattern of starting a diet, something you've done probably every January your entire life, and you stop doing the diet. This is called a habit loop. You're repeating the same pattern and you know that pattern fails you, so why are you doing it, right? You know when you start a new diet every January, you fall off the wagon and fail, but you try to convince yourself that a new diet, this new thing is gonna help you and that you just haven't found the right thing yet. That's not true. You're telling yourself a lie. The pattern of repeating the same thing every January, looking for a diet, thinking it's gonna be this magic bullet for you, that is the definition of insanity because you're repeating the same pattern and expecting a different result. You fail only by doing nothing, but you also fail if you repeat something that you know is gonna give you the same result. When you choose to do the same things over and over again and expect that maybe you're gonna get something different right? There's a big difference here between you not being successful with weight loss and you repeating a pattern that you know leads you to giving up. There's a big difference, right? So we're going to talk a little bit more about this. Um, if this is something that happens to you every January, you're always kind of searching for the new thing, then let's talk about this, okay? Um, one of the things that I see with women constantly is they think they are the, the blame. They think it's their fault. And they think that their success is because they haven't found the right diet or haven't gotten enough willpower, consistency, motivation, whatever. And they also fear failing. I hear this from clients all the time, prospective clients who want to come work with me. Listen, if you want to succeed at anything in life, you have to fail and you have to be willing to fail. Failing is how we learn. Failing is how you will reach your weight loss goal. You have to be willing to fail. Think about how many times in your life you have learned how to do something, learning how to drive, graduating from high school, going to college, getting your first job, having your first kid, right? I'm sure you have had to do some of those things and you've had to learn along the way in order to get better, right? Playing an instrument, nobody goes into the first lesson of playing an instrument and knows how to do it. No, you have to screw up a few things along the way and then figure it out. And then you're like, okay, I know how to do this. So my point is anytime you have done something major in your life, you've had to fall down, you've had to learn a lesson from that fall down, and then you had to pick up and move forward. Right? And when you move forward, you had so much more knowledge because you practiced, because you grew, because you finally succeeded at something. Weight loss is no different, right? Weight loss is about practicing new skills, new things. And you have to practice those skills over and over again. Think about it as if you're playing the piano. You have to learn and it takes time before you can really pick it up and run with it, right? So most women, when they try to come at this weight loss problem, what they do is they go from transitioning from A to Z overnight. They literally go from eating junk food, eating fast food every single day from, to I'm gonna eat clean, I'm gonna do Whole30. Well, no wonder you're gonna fail. That's way too much change for your brain to take at one time. 
and then you're dealing with a job and kids and life and everything else, right? That's too much change. You guys, a lot of you guys think that you should suddenly be able to eat vegetables, love the vegetables, never eat junk food again, never crave chocolate or have urges with food from Sunday to Monday. It doesn't work that way, right? And then what happens is you try to eat super, super clean in one shebang, and then you go, oh my gosh, I'm a failure because I had this bad day and I overate. You're not a failure. You just, your approach was way too drastic, right? And then you go into this dramatic mode inside of your head. Well, no diet's ever going to work for me. I'm never going to lose this weight. I'm just going to give up and feel bad about myself and feel frustrated and sad. There must be something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. The approach is flawed. It's not you, it's the approach. It's the Sunday night I'm eating junk and then Monday I'm gonna eat super clean and then by Wednesday I'm throwing in the towel because I was trying to be too strict with myself. Most women don't wanna do the in-between and the in-between is what I teach my clients. The in-between is, okay, we're not gonna just drastically overhaul your diet, we're gonna work on one thing, we're gonna work on just breakfast and that's all you're gonna work on is just breakfast or you're just gonna work on eating more protein. That's all you're gonna work on. Most women feel like that's failing. They feel like that's not enough. It's not gonna get me to change. You know what, it will. And I know firsthand because I lost 80 pounds with that approach and I work with clients every single day. And this is the approach I take with my clients. I've done this for years. I know this works. Going slow and gradual works. You gotta slow down if you want permanent weight loss, right? And um, if you think that you're failing because you're not doing enough at one time, you need to change your mindset. You need to reset your expectations of what you can do. But what most women are doing is they're avoiding this. They're avoiding the negative feeling because they have experienced so much disappointment with so many diets throughout their lives that they don't want to experience that disappointment anymore. That feeling like they failed, that really negative feeling, that negative reaction. But your reaction should not be negative. Your reaction should be, okay, I'm going to analyze what's going on here. I'm going to look at this situation and figure out why I got stuck with this problem, why I couldn't follow through with the diet, and I'm going to figure out what the real issue is. You look at the information about what happened to see what you can change the next time. I'm willing to bet most of you haven't done that. You have done a diet. Let's say you did Whole30 last January. You did Whole30 and you stopped doing it at some point and then you just started eating with your old habits. You went back to whatever you were doing, right? And so many of you will look for the new diet in the new year instead of reflecting and analyzing and saying, hmm, what happened here? Why didn't I stick with Whole30? And some of you might be inclined to say, well, because I just wasn't consistent. No, why weren't you consistent? What's really going on there? There's a gold mine of information there that's gonna help you get unstuck. Listen, every time you fall down, it's an opportunity for you to learn something and you're not taking advantage of that. Let me say that again. Every time you fall down is an opportunity for you to learn something. Most of you are not taking the time to stop and reflect and diagnose and learn so that you can improve the next time or just avoid doing another diet that's not going to work, right? This is where you're getting tripped up. You're not taking the time to slow down, stop, reflect, and analyze, right? Instead, you're putting all this pressure on yourself to be perfect. I got to eat perfect. I got to exercise perfect. Perfection is unrealistic. Believe me, I'm a recovering perfection myself. I have Hashimoto's disease. I had a hip replacement at 38. And I've had many other life struggles along the way. And I've had to really let this perfectionist mindset go. Nobody can be perfect. And let me tell you, life is so much easier and losing weight is so much easier when you let go of trying to be a perfect person all the time. There's no such thing as a perfect woman. There's no such thing as a perfect life. And there's no such thing as a perfect time to lose weight. So if you're waiting until January 1st, there's no magic fairy dust that's going to happen for you on January 1st. You need to start right now today, right where you are. You focus on just one little thing. Not everything, just one thing. And, you know, I hear this all the time when I talk to women on the phone, when they inquire about weight loss coaching, and they'll say, well, I'll sign up when my kids are out of school or when I'm out of school or when, you know, I have this amount of money. You know, you fill out in the blank, whatever it is. 
they look for literally any excuse they can find in order to get out of doing it right now. And they actually deny themselves the opportunity to learn and grow right now. You are denying yourself by putting it off, right? When you say no to weight loss, you're not saying no to me, you're saying no to you. And saying no to you, that's a real failure. You have this fear of failing, but when you just put the, put the foot down and say, no, I have all these you know, reasons why I can't lose weight, you're saying no to yourself. That's real failure. The challenge for many of you is that you're in the habit of justifying why you can't do things because you don't have confidence in yourself, because you think you failed with all these diets. Those diets are flawed. They're not teaching you how to eat like a normal person. And the only way you really build confidence with yourself is by falling down. Because that's how we learn and grow. But many of us have this vision in our heads that if we can't do something perfect from day one, that we shouldn't do it at all or that it's not going to help or matter. Listen, it is going to help and matter. And there is no perfect time. And there is no perfect way of doing it every single day. Because think about how many times you have thought you would be able to do something maybe by a certain date. By June 1st, I'm going to be able to do X, Y, Z. And it just never happened, right? Something like something in life always gets in the way, right? The AC breaks down, the heater breaks down, the refrigerator goes out, the dishwasher's leaking, you got a flat tire, kids got an extra expense at school, right? All of this stuff happens and it's part of life. And these curveballs are always going to get thrown at you. And so you have to get um, a little resilient to dealing with the curveballs in life. You know, you're always going to be dodging them. Life isn't going to always be perfect. There isn't going to be this perfect stretch of time where you can just focus on losing weight. It's not going to happen. So you have to reset your expectations of yourself. Here's an example. Think about a toddler. When a toddler is learning how to walk, how many times do they fall down? A lot. Because they're learning. And when they are learning how to walk, they're down and up and down and up. And we usually do what? We clap, we go, yay, keep trying, right? We encourage them. Come on, you can do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know, it's interesting is that a toddler is not scared of falling down. They just get right back up. And that's what you need to do too. Toddlers eventually figure it out. And you're eventually going to figure it out too if you keep getting back up. But if you keep sitting down and just staying there, then you're not going to succeed with losing weight right this is a huge reason why so many women can't lose weight and keep it off because they are scared of falling down but really you're just in your own head and you have created this image of what you think is a perfect diet the perfect body the perfect time the perfect food right this is why when someone starts a new way of eating they start out really good on Monday and Tuesday and then Wednesday they have a bad day at work and then they go through the drive through and then they're like, there must be something wrong with me because I couldn't follow the plan and I guess I'm a failure and I'm never going to lose weight because I gave into fast food. No, you just had a bad day. Just get back on track tomorrow. If your kid came home from school and your child failed a test at school, would you say, yep, you're a failure. Don't bother going back to school tomorrow. No, you would never say that to your child, right? That's not empathy. That's not love for your child. You would encourage your child. You would help your child. You would tell them they're going to figure it out and they would eventually figure it out. You would even help them, right? So why are you not helping yourself? Why are you not being more empathetic and loving to yourself? Think about how ridiculous that seems, right? When you think about like how you react towards yourself, would you ever do that to your children? No, but you're doing it to yourself. And it's the thing that's keeping you stuck. And I see it every single day in my coaching practice. And I hear these words coming directly out of women's mouths. And they're, they're saying, I don't know what's wrong with me. I want to lose weight, but I don't know what's wrong with me. Listen, there is nothing wrong with you. You just have the wrong expectation of yourself and you haven't practiced falling down enough in order to be consistent with your habits and eventually lose the weight. That's, that's it. You just haven't practiced enough. If you bought a pair of running shoes today, would you have the expectation that tomorrow morning you could go run a marathon? No! You need to train and practice. 
Weight loss is the same thing. You gotta train and practice. You gotta train and practice those habits. You gotta train and practice for eating for your hormones and you gotta train and practice how you talk to yourself and think, right? You need to get better at particularly listening to the internal dialogue you're having with yourself because your brain hears what you say to yourself. So if you're saying a lot of negative things, your actions are always gonna follow. And you have to shift that internal dialogue from I, there must be something wrong to me to, I just haven't experienced success yet. I have more practicing to do, right? You're not a failure. There's nothing wrong for you. The times that you fall down are opportunities for you to learn and grow. It doesn't mean anything about your capability. It doesn't have to result in a negative feeling. You get to choose how you interpret your feelings and how you interpret the lessons of life. And you can interpret those fall downs as negatives or you can interpret them as, hmm, let me see what went wrong here and figure out how I can do it different or better next time so I can keep going on the path. Real feeling is just giving up and, and, and eating all the junk food. But if you keep going with every single meal and realizing that every single meal is an opportunity to start over, the more you do that, the easier it's gonna become, but you have to practice it, right? Think about some of your favorite foods. Most diets teach you to just restrict your favorite foods, right? I, I am all about eating those favorite foods because I want my clients to have to learn how to eat in control, how to eat in portion control, because those your favorite foods are never going away and they're probably always gonna be your favorite foods. You can't just white knuckle it and have willpower enough to lose weight and then expect that you're magically gonna be this like wonder woman who can say no to all of your favorite foods after you lose the weight. No, because you'll just put the weight back on, right? So this is this goes back to the mindset that you can't just be restricting things, right? We have to work through the process and working through the process is getting over your brain, getting over the negative self-talk and the negative thoughts that you're having, the I'm not good enough, what's wrong with me, no diet ever works for me. You are in a constant learning process in life and when you're not learning, you're literally staying on the couch, on the phone, scrolling, and that's true failure. That's the only way you fail. Because you're not experiencing life, you're not experiencing your best life, and you're denying yourself your best life, and your full potential that is inside of you. And I say this to people all the time, I believe in the potential of you, and you have to believe in the potential of yourself just as much. I've, I've seen the transformation that my clients get, I've had my own 80 pound transformation by just walking and gradually working on the lifestyle changes. Um, and, and that's really what it's about. There's nothing wrong with you and there's no reason for you to sit in blame or self judgment or self hurt because none of the issues that you've experienced with losing weight have to do with you. They really have to do with how diets have taught you a really messed up way of eating. It's not you, it's the diet. All right, I hope you can relate to this message because I think it's a really important one. As we go into January of 2021 and start this new year, there's gonna be so much misinformation flooded your way about dieting and what you should and shouldn't be doing. And listen, you can listen to those things, but you have probably done those kind of diets so many times and failed and you know they don't work. So sit back and analyze why they didn't work and be honest with yourself about what needs to be changed or shifted in your life in order to get you out of that cycle. Diets don't make you feel good. They make you blame yourself. They make you feel like there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay. I hope this was helpful for you again. If you need more help with eating for your hormones, mindset and what really works for lasting weight loss for women over 35. I have a free class available for you right above this um, Facebook Live. You can click on that video, sign up and watch it whenever you have some time. And as always, I'd love to hear from you. Um, put your questions down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks guys. Bye.